Welcome back into Talking Fitchburg. Joining me this afternoon is Jay Allen. You may recognize that name as a former mayor of Fitchburg, but also uh, the chairperson or whatever position. El Presidente. Yeah. Oh, President. I'm so sorry. Yes. Mr. President of uh, Fitchburg Days. <laughs> and uh, he's in here today to talk a little bit about the history of Fitchburg Days. So um, certainly it's like the, I always consider it the kickoff of uh, summer events. Like Fitchburg's always been number one yeah. in the summer. So uh, let's, let's kick it off from there. What is Fitchburg Days? Well, originally, Fitchburg Days started in the 70s as a corn husking festival that happened over at McGaw Park. Um, it was run there for, for many years before there was a McKee Farms Park. And after a while, the people who were organizing it at the time got tired of doing it, so they basically folded it up, packed it away, and that was the end of it. Uh, but in the, in the mid-90s, around 95 or so, Doug Morissette, who was the mayor at the time, uh, decided that he wanted to bring the festival back. So... Uh, he took some city staff and directed them to reorganize the festival, and it was reorganized. And after a few years, uh, the uh, festival was transferred over to another group, which eventually incorporated in 2003. And I joined the group in 1999, and uh, it's been run as a private organization ever since. But we, we do rely on the city for a lot of help to make the, the festival happen. Absolutely, and it's it's transitioned throughout the years, um, and uh, but you can always uh, guarantee that uh, you're going to have some good entertainment, a carnival, and uh, of course some uh, Fitchburg favorites. Yes, well, uh, as long as it doesn't rain, um, ha happening in May, rain is always a concern, and some years it's better weather than others. But we we bring out uh, a lot of local bands. We've had the Jimmies there. We've had uh, uh, Pat McCurdy, of course, comes almost every year. Uh, we've had uh, uh, the Kissers, who are a local Irish band. Uh, one of the most memorable years was 2003, when we got the most amount of rain we've ever had. It basically rained all weekend, but we went. We didn't have thunderstorms. It just rained and rained and rained. So we went on anyway. And the Saw Doctors were playing on Saturday night. And there weren't a lot of people there. There were only about 50, 60 people there because the grounds were completely waterlogged. But there were there were 40 or 50 people who were dancing in the mud, having a great time. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, uh, talk about the uh, importance of a, a community festival. Well, th that's the reason that Doug Morissette wanted to bring it back. He was he was trying to find ways. Fitchburg, as a city, was still in its infancy. We had just incorporated in 1983. And in 94, it was barely 10 years in. And, you know, most communities, all of our surrounding neighbors have their own local festivals. So uh, he wanted to try to bring this back to try to build some cohesiveness in the community. And we do bring out the, a lot of people. This is the largest event in the city of Fitchburg. And uh, we bring people from all over the city. You can, there'll be people from Jamestown. There'll be people from Post Road. There'll be people from Burnwood, Highlands of Seminole, every, it seems like a community festival is something that nearly everybody can get into at some point in their day. Well, and McKee Farms Park is a, a great place to uh, to hold such a great event. It is. And uh, let's talk about some of the food throughout the years. Now, you've, you've probably had some regular community partners there, but uh, you really get a local flavor, generally speaking. We we have shifted that a lot over the years. Back uh, in the back in the day, <laughs> back in the day, uh, the Lions Club used to provide most of the foods. So they'd come in and make hot dogs and brats and hamburgers and things. And uh, uh, then we decided to upgrade that a little bit. So we we expanded it and allowed other local restaurants to come and participate. And several of our local restaurants did, but. Most of them were not really equipped for being mobile. You know, they're they are, they're brick and mortar organizations, and that's what they they don't they don't all have food carts. And then, uh, about six years ago, seven years ago, we switched that again and started inviting local food carts instead of the local restaurants. And so we've had some of the some of the more popular food carts in Dane County have come out and been part of our festival over the years. Yeah, I think that makes it just a little bit more special, if you will. Um, how important it is to get volunteers to step up and help out? Because I know that's been uh, troublesome. It, getting volunteers for almost anything is always troublesome. Uh, fortunately, we've been able to uh, reconfigure certain things in our events, so there are fewer volunteers required to put on the same quality level of a festival. Uh, but still, for the festival to run, takes about 40 to 50 volunteers, and... 
Um, we've been fortunate. We get we get people who are willing to do that, or people who uh, will work more than one shift and uh, take advantage of other opportunities that we have. So, um, for the most part, the community has been pretty supportive of the event, and uh, we're happy to keep it going. Do you ever see a, a chance where we're going to see some corn husking again? Like, ah. like, are we going to have this like centennial like big? Uh, you know, like, well, come I on! Know. I mean, the centennial is going to be a long way away, man. Oh, I don't know. I just. <laughs> I had to throw something out there. <laughs> that gives you plenty of planning time. I'm just you saying. You know, I don't even know how that would work because um, most of our – we do have some local farms that still plant corn, but in May, the the, the festival <laughs> used to happen in – I was going to say, it better have happened uh, uh, probably August. Well, the festival used to happen in August, and that's why that – worked really well for that but unless somebody's planting winter hay, winter corn uh, we're not going to get a lot in may <laughs> just saying I, i'm throwing it out there it, we can pull the corn from somewhere i'm sure somebody's growing we it have somewhere. we have been trying to find some ways to m incorporate our agricultural community better into the event and there are some things that have worked and some things that haven't worked but we're still trying to come up with some ideas what do you and i think that leads to my final question is where, where do you see this going here in the future what what could we what could we expect? Well, next year, uh, I, we're going to have to make some changes because of uh, some things that happened this year involving some teenagers who got a little unruly. Um, but, you know, every time we make a change, we try, to, we try to provide a better experience for the people who are coming to the event. So, you know, we switched our carnival company a couple of times to provide some better rides. We've, we've switched the, f the way the food is done to the food carts to give people a better experience with that. And I think the changes that we're talking about for next year will provide even a better experience. The main thing that, I, that I'm, I'm trying to work on really hard is to bring a, find a sponsor to bring the fireworks back because that's, that would be a huge change. People really liked it when we did the fireworks, and uh, we just haven't had that as part of our festival for a while because uh, the city withdrew the funding for it. So uh, if we can, so anyone out there who's got seven thousand dollars a year, they want to give us to put fireworks on, we'd be happy to do it again. Calling all, uh, all uh, funds the best Absolutely. you can. Well, I appreciate Jay for you stopping in, and giving us kind of the history behind it, and uh, good luck uh, to you in the future. Thank you so much. All right, we'll take a quick break. You are watching Talking Fitchburg. <laughs> 